Hey everybody, welcome. Andrew Ames with Golf Academy. As always, thanks for tuning in and watching the channel today. I do appreciate your time. So my friends at Bombtech Golf have been sending me lots of equipment to try. Um, I've already reviewed their driver, three wood, hybrids and irons. So if you, I'll put some links up as we go and I'll put some um, sort of links at the end of the video so you can go and check those out. Not going to bore you too much again with what Bombtech are all about because there's loads on previous videos. A potted little nutshell of Bombtech is they sell direct to you, the customer. They don't go through the pros, you can buy direct. Um, the guy behind it um, has set up a company which produces really high quality golf clubs but at really good prices. So go and check out the website, Bombtech Golf. Again, we'll put some links up so that you can get onto it. So my final review at the moment on the Bombtech equipment are these fellas here. This is the Bombtech Golf driving iron. And what they sent me, and we'll give you some little close-ups as we're chatting about it, they sent me a two iron and a three iron. Tell you a little bit about them. The iron heads have an undercut cavity which shift the center of gravity uh, rearward for a higher MOI. So here we go with all these little names. MOI, moment of inertia. Think of a moment of inertia as a resistance to twisting. So basically you're trying to keep the club face squarer. Hopefully that's going to keep your shots going a little bit straighter. So that's what MOI is all about. Um, we've got a unsupported face design. I'm not quite sure what that, well, I kind of know what it means. I'm not quite sure how they've done that. Uh, but anyway, unsupported face design, which increases the COR. Here we go again, COR, coefficient of restitution. <laughs> There's a mouthful. Think of that as the trampoline effect. We first really came across COR and talked about it on Titanium Woods. Thin face flexes, shoots the ball off there, increases ball speed, basically, COR. So with that, we've got that going on. In the two iron, we've got a 19 degree loft, 39 and a half inch shaft. And in the three iron, we've got 22 degrees, 39 inch long. Price on the Bombtech website is $127. Um, not sure about shipping costs on top of that. You'll have to go and check that out. They do ship worldwide, but I would certainly inquire about obviously shipping costs and potential import duties and before you maybe buy because good chance you are going to get uh, charged import duties but that I guess that depends on where you are in the world so it's available to everybody so there we go um, what else have I got I've got these in a steel shaft they only come in steel uh, it's a stepless steel premium shaft don't know who makes it made for bomb tech golf uh, regular or steel regular or stiff even sort of a tour velvet style grip on here with the bomb tech logos on there we go that's everything i can tell you about this bomb tech driving iron all that remains for me to do is to take it over next door get it in the hitting area and hit some shots let's do it okay everybody time to put the bomb tech golf driving iron through its paces i've got the number two here i'm going to hit it off a tee this is where i would see it uh, i wouldn't fancy this too much myself off the deck um, unless I was trying to flight it really low. It's quite a low profile sort of face on it. If you look at the sort of depth of the face here, it is quite low. So, you know, you've got to be making sure that you tee this up pretty low. Uh, if you go too high a tee peg, you think you're going to catch it too high up in the club face. So, in terms of hitability, I've been testing this a little lot. Got to be honest, always honest in my reviews. I personally find the hybrid a little bit easier to hit than this club. But when you do get it, it's very, very powerful. Remember there are people out there who really don't like hybrids, don't get on with them, like a long iron, like a, a driving iron. This could be the club for you. Let's get in there and have a little hit. Hitting everything with a fairly big draw this morning, which shouldn't come as a big surprise really. That wasn't a great strike. That was a bit high up in the club face. Be very interesting to see how that's dealt with, with what really is a miss hit. Um, let's put some data up. Got a new projector. So I'm interested to see what you think of this because normally what I would do is I would video my laptop and put this data up on the screen off the laptop. So hopefully you can see this. Didn't get a lot of club speed, only came in at 83, 84. Swung it a little bit too much from in to out and didn't strike it particularly well. Got 190 carry out of that with a predicted run out of, of just under 210. 
Um, and that was pretty nasty misstrike that one. So, you know, you know me, I can, uh, I can hit the ball all over the face. Now and again, we do find the middle of the club, but that certainly wasn't. So good to test its playability, isn't it? Let's go again. Now that's, oh, don't go in the bunker. That was struck much more out in the middle. It's gonna pick up that left-hand bunker. This bunker is a bit of a stinker, really. It cuts right into this fairway, and it only, it's cutting in, you know, that's only about 12, 13 yards left of center. It does pick up anything that's going slightly left, but we'll have a little look at that. Much better for club speed, wasn't it? 90, 91 miles an hour club speed. Fairly low launch at 11, that's me. I'm a low ball launcher, spinning at 3,800, but the carry distance there is up to 205, kind of where I'd expect this club to be. Predicted run out on GC2, um, around about somewhere between 220 and um, 230, really. Should we have a little hit with the three? So the three, uh, refer to my notes again, 22 degrees, 19 on the two, uh, 22 degree on the three, and half inch shorter, that's 39. Uh, yeah, let's just leave those two up there and we'll, we'll have a little hit. Oh, I told you I've got the touch of the drawers today. We'll have a look at that. It's missed fairway, it's in the first cut, it's not great. The 192 carry by the looks of it. Just got the club face closing a little bit early. Swing path wasn't bad. 192 carry, 22 yards left the center. Need to start these out a little bit more to the right and let my, uh, my draw <laughs> kick in a little bit. Let's, uh, I'm going up the right this time. Let this one come back. That's the ticket. Still overdrawing it a little bit. Stop short of that bunker. Stop! Stop! Oh, it's an absolute magnet in that bunker. You ever play golf where there's magnets in the bunker? Just draws everything in. Let's have a look at that. Did start that way out the right. Again, released the club a little bit too aggressively. Not a bad number though. 199 carry coming out to 221. I am going to try the two iron off the deck just for a little bit of fun. This should come out screamingly low in theory and run like there's no tomorrow. Let's have a go. Oh, look at that. A real stinger, that one. It's probably not gone much higher than about me, that one. It sizzled off the club face. Hot to touch that one after there. Um, not bad. Didn't quite middle it. We'll bring you up the data, just have a little laugh at it. Uh, launch angle 8.8, it's a super low launch angle. Peak height of 15 yards, that one. 188 carry. Now, if I was using that around the Lynx course, hitting it into some sort of little headwind when I want to keep the ball down, that would be a really powerful flight. So overall, what do we think of the Bombtech Golf driving irons? They're very, very good. I'll tell you, for the price, they're amazingly good value. Remember, 120 seven dollars for two of them Pfft. can't argue with that great for the person who doesn't get on with the hybrids doesn't like hybrids looking for something to launch the ball a little bit lower potentially go and check them out bomb tech golf it's been great fun testing your products looking forward to, to doing some more work with you in the future thanks for watching the video don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you like the videos and post your comments down below. Always good to hear, you know, about what you guys and girls were, are saying. Great stuff. So I'm off. I've got a lesson coming in five minutes, so I better get myself ready for that. Thanks again. Bye for now, and I'll be back soon.